Miles to Bucky's. We are currently on our way to Fort Worth to the stockyards. It is a beautiful day here in Texas. It's supposed to be 96 degrees. We made it to Bucky's. Huge. Silas is kind of freaking out because there's a raisin canes. Chick-fil-A! And a Chick-fil-A right here. It's like the epitome of his favorites. We made it! Next time you need help navigating to your destination, just yelp for help! And then... This is Bucky's. I mean, it goes way back there. Okay, we're still on our way to the Fort Worth Stockyards. We stopped at Bucky's, which was awesome. Got a hat there. Love it. Um, I'm going to file a formal complaint with the Stockyards website because the address that it had led us somewhere downtown. downtown. And before you say that I read the address wrong, I'm smarter than that. I had Steven and my mom look too. Anywho, we're going to get there eventually. It is now 2.15. We left at about 10.45. But hey. Oh, what are they doing over there? Anyway, we, we're on vacation, so time doesn't matter. I shared a steak with Silas. It was so good. Sawyer said that daddy makes a good steak too. So it was tough competition. So now we're gonna head down to the stockyards. Speaking of daddy, he's always around. <laughs> Those ones are all the way up. I never liked that mole. My head is not the best for it. My mother made me get it. I look like an eggshell so upside down. Oh, baby. We're still at the Sanger KOA. Um, guess where we're at? 
Walmart, yay! Gosh, good guess. We are gonna try to get some organization stuff to move our cups and plates and stuff in the trailer because they're very hard to get to. And grandma's tired of battling it, so. Today's rest day. Gonna get some things here at Walmart, go back and go swimming. Had a wonderful conversation with Cecil this morning at the KOA, I adore him. I gotta go back and visit him too. Sweetest little old man. It's a beautiful 91 degrees in Texas. We are at the pool and you'll see us in about five hours. You'll see us, you mean you'll be at the pool for five hours, Sawyer? Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Pulled it themselves yet again. The family that was here in the pool, they said, we're out of here, the water's too cold. <laughs> all right, Sierra, what was your favorite part of the stockyards yesterday? Probably the whole thing and looking at all the boots and I got a new hat too. Yeah. yeah. Do you have a favorite um, event of yesterday? The cattle drive. That was pretty cool. And I'm sad because we didn't get to go to the rodeo. I know. Daddy will have to take us to the he one in Cheyenne. He, he said he won't go with us. <gasps> Can you see underwater pretty good with those? Yeah, let me tell you, I'm right at him. He's wanting me to do these little acting videos with him, so he tells me the idea. So here's his next one. Oh wow, looks like somebody drank too much root beer. Oh no, they fell in the pool. The real question was, was it actually beer? Did you oh, have too much root time. beer? I had some beer, some whiskey, it's the moonshine. <laughs> yeah. Stayed an extra day. It doesn't look like anybody's at the pool. Because um, Oklahoma's expecting tornadoes. And I really don't want to get sucked up into a, a tornado. I'm not in the mood for that right now. And um, I'm going to start with this So, you see you there. <laughs> so, as you can see, it's windy. But it's still nice and warm. So, we are headed to the pool. One more day here in Sanger, Texas. And then we're heading out for a long drive to Amarillo. Which, thank you, Silas, sing the song for us. <laughs> Amarillo by morning. <laughs> Except it's like 330 miles or something. So, it'll probably be like Amarillo by evening. Yeah. So, chicken sandwiches for dinner from uh, Raising Cane's. Yes. Tomorrow will be a very long drive for us. The second longest day of the trip, minus when we left the St. Louis KOA that didn't have power and drove on to Grayville. So technically... But we can do it. Yeah, but I like doing long days with the Grandpa Tom and Grandma Betty are going to go have dinner with his cousin tomorrow night. So, we got to get there by dinner time at least. But for, now, guys, you got a trucker bar. but for now, we'll, <laughs> we'll beat the heat at the pool. Storm's rolling in. You see the black sky, and here's the start of it. You can see the difference in the night sky.
Amarillo and you know the song Amarillo by morning but it's not gonna be morning it's definitely gonna be evening because we got a long drive like eight hours 328 miles to go yep sadly As Sawyer said, we are headed for Albuquerque, New Mexico today. I didn't get footage of the Amarillo campground. I was a long day of driving. Um, if you guys can even hear me, we're at a rest stop just outside of New Mexico, in Texas still. But anyway, just wanted to update you guys. No footage of Amarillo. Didn't miss much. All right, we don't really recommend the Amarillo KOA. It was fine for the night. That's yeah, all we but, needed. Like, if we were there for a couple of days, the pool wasn't even open and everything was on. It's all about the pool. It um, is. <laughs> but anyway, we are almost to New Mexico. So this another state me. on the map. This area reminds me of Red Dead. Yep, it does. We're getting to see more uh, formations of hills and things. These parts of Texas that we were in were pretty flat beautiful in their own way. I am missing the 90 degree weather. I had to wear pants and a sweatshirt today. It's gonna get very cold at night. I'm not ready. I can't, no! I can't wait to get back down to Tucson where it's gonna be in the upper 80s. that motorhome on the freeway. All right, we are all parked and set up at the Albuquerque KOA, spot 91. Um, good spot, because it's right next to the showers and the laundry. So that worked out perfect. Nice, clean KOA. I would recommend staying here if you are traveling through. Um, New Mexico has not struck my fancy one bit, but there are some very beautiful aspects of it. Maybe because it's only 54 degrees today, I'm freezing my tail off. That might be why. Um, but anyways, it's cold. Very cold. Not used to it. It's going to take a little time. <laughs> Good thing we'll be back into Arizona tomorrow and then down to Tucson where it's in the upper 80s for five days, five nights. So can't wait. 
I just woke up. Um, we're going to um, Holbrook, um, Petrified Forest, Arizona. is currently in my eyeballs and I can't see anything but we're adding some more stickers to our map which we haven't done in a while I have bed <laughs> what two states are we adding to it show me where they go which one's first New Mexico New Mexico of course for New Mexico you keep saying it are there really New avocados Me in New Mexico I don't know what did we think Pecans. of New Mexico Pecans. no Pistachios. Pistachios. And then Arizona. Which is where we are right now. Right now. It's really cold. And tell them where we're going. It's not cold. Petrified forest. That's In Utah. One. No. So yeah. how long does it take a tree to become petrified? Two what? million years. How two million? Millions and millions okay, of years. Okay, so I count. How many states have we been to? Start with Washington. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. I don't think he came up with the right <laughs> Yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> you missed one, though. I didn't get up anybody's I guess. He just knew the number. Right yeah. <laughs> 